All right, in this video, we're gonna go over the basics, um, probably like 90% of what you need to know about the back end of the website, um, how to log in, how to create articles, um, how to categorize them, the, basic, the basics of creating content for the web page. So, um, first step for logging in is to go to the web page for login. Uh, it's the URL is team2168.org slash administrator. Uh, you're going to arrive to this login page, type in your uh, user credentials. And it'll dump you out onto this control panel page. So our website runs on Joomla. Um, if you ever have any desire, you can go look up tutorials on the internet. Um, but you know, this, these videos hopefully will go over most of what you need. But if you ever want more info on the software that the web page is running on, well, it's a like, commercial off-the-shelf package for a content management system. It's called Joomla. You can see that down here. All right, so this the user I just logged in as is has kind of limited um, uh, capabilities, but it's enough. They have enough uh, privileges to create content for the website, so this should cover you know what most users need. Um, so let's say that we wanted to add new content to. The, this media section of the web page. You see right now there's no articles, but there's a section called 2015. Um, and you can see that it's underneath this media category. And there's another subcategory called 2015. So if we go into add a new article, For this page to load, um, we get this this editor that pops up. Uh, right now, I had my I had the editor turned off. So, if you want, um, I guess I'll explain what this is. All right. So, normally you'll have this view here. It kind of looks like Microsoft Word. Um, uh, there's a like WYSIWYG editor. What you see is what you get. Um, this kind of abstracts all the code from you, but it, it lets you, you know, type out text, format it, add images, affect the layout, um, and the and the style of text that uh, is going to show up. So, if you know how to use Word or pretty much any uh, document editor application, you're not going to have trouble writing articles for the web page. So let's just get some some content so I don't have to type a bunch of stuff. I'm just going to steal a bunch of text. What else? Get some more. All right. So we've got a bunch of text here. Um, if you remember before, I didn't have all these buttons. So this toggle editor. Uh, button here. It basically shows you the code that's going to be generated um, from the uh, from this editor. So if you click toggle editor, it takes away all the uh, automatic formatting and it uh, just shows you the HTML. So I copied stuff off of a web page and it's got all this formatting. So I'm just going to get rid of that. But if you're normally just typing text, you won't have to do any of this. But um, I'm removing it because that's going to affect how the, the text looks. Uh, all right, so you see this kind of has, uh, I, I don't know if you noticed earlier, but there was kind of more formatting on the, on the text. Now it's kind of like a stock look and feel. Um, so say if we did want to change the way text looked, well, you can change using these styles here. Um, in general, unless you like really know what you're doing or know that you want to deviate from these styles, um, you can actually hard code the font size or set like, font color 
um, but that's going to make the text kind of look different than um, everything else on the page. So it's in it's good practice to use the predefined styles that are here. So let's say we wanted to have like some title show up. some like body text below it and then maybe maybe like a sub a subsection color heading two or well whatever you guys get the idea that you can change the way text looks using these styles. They're just predefined groups of formatting. Alright, so let's, this is our article. Alright, so this area is where you type in all your content. Um, if you wanted to add an image, there's this little picture button right here. It brings up a dialog that'll let you um, pick an image that's already up on the web page, or you can upload new ones. Most of the pictures is kind of goofy. We should probably reorganize this at some point, but most of the images are under this stories, and then, um, where is it? then under gallery um, and if you're writing an article with a bunch of images then you make like a new subdirectory under here otherwise you can just kind of throw it where it makes sense um, so you see there's lots and lots of images under here so say uh, we'll insert this picture if you wanted to resize it you can just drag the corners uh, something to remember is that when you're adding images, um, if you really just want a tiny thumbnail, then you should probably resize it before you upload. Um, again, you can upload images through uh, this dialog as well. Where is it? I think it's right here. Yeah. So you just press upload, uh, like choose where you want it to to be uploaded to, press upload, um, and if you wanted to edit uh, an existing image in an article, just click on it first, and then click on this button, and you could like hard code dimensions for the image, um, change how it's going to be aligned within a paragraph of text, so on the left, the center, the right, or vertical alignments and put it on the right side um, and also how the text wraps around the image um, where is that set oh, it's actually part of this field here um, if you change to like one of these vertical alignments then um, the text won't wrap around it. But if you're doing one of these left or rights, um, the, the t proper HTML um, option is set to have the text wrap around it. All right. Uh, another thing is alternate text. That's what's going to show up when you put your mouse like over the image. So um, it's usually good to have some kind of descriptive text here um, some some users with disabilities use that to uh, you know, like they, they have applications that read that field automatically so we'll just set that um, something we can look at later um, all right we'll click update this and you see the image popped over to the right hand side uh, all right so there's a couple more options over on here um, first off, articles, when you write them, you want to categorize them. That's going to affect where they show up on the page. So we're looking at this um, area of the media menu. 
a subsection of media. There's a category called 2015. Any article that's written and categorized within that category automatically shows up on this page. So if we put it into the media 2015 section, that category, and set its status to published, and save, oh, I need to give it a title. Let me save it. Since it's published, it will, um, the article will show up on the web page. That basically means it's live. If you unpublished it, it would still be categorized, but it wouldn't be visible on uh, the public web page. So if we go back to the website, hit refresh, we see that there's a new article called Some Article, and all the text that I wrote is there as well. You can see there's the text that we set with different styles looks different. So heading one looks like that. Heading two, uh, I don't remember if I did, what is it? Heading three and heading four. So that's heading three, that's heading four. So there's some predefined style sets so that you can consistently um, format the text. right? And then our image showed up at the bottom there. If we wanted it to wrap, I think we can just drag it up to the top. save that and we can s save it see the changes um, if you want to quickly go to a section like if you don't already have the website open and you want to see how an article looks on the page there's always this link up in the top corner here you can click and it'll bring you to the page um, and you can see moving that image moved where it shows up on the article So uh, just to show you, if you unpublish an article, it no longer shows up on the web page. Right. Um, let me republish that. And so something that if you've got a long article, a uh, feature to kind of take all this text off of this single page, um, you can have uh, some like click through thing. Say you wanted to just summarize uh, the article. So you have some, some paragraph here that's a summary. And then you want them to have to click to see more. You can, uh, you can add in uh, this little, click this little button here. It says, uh, it's the read more link. I think my video recorder is preventing the pop-up from showing up, but you click on that and I'll save it. Go back, refresh this page. See, there's this link now. It says read more. Um, so this was the text that was the title and the summary of the article. All right click on it and it'll bring you to a page that just has that one article on it. Why didn't it work? I'm able to connect to the internet. Okay, for some reason my internet connection just dumped. Anyways, uh, so to show you again, so this will be the page. Um, this is a content header here, like, uh, and they have the article header and then the content of the article that's visible. You click on the link and it brings you to the full article. And you can see that you're within the media section, 2015 Recycle Rush, the article we wrote, and the full article. So you can go back here. Let's make some more articles just so you can see um, you know, how, how everything looks, like why it's, why it's important to actually add this read more link. 
otherwise the page just gets really cluttered. So let's save a copy of this article. We'll publish it. I'll just leave that. Um, save it. Save another copy. Publish it. So all three of these articles are going to be in this category. And I'll save that. Okay, we refresh this page. All right, so we have three articles. There'd be some titles, like these are the article titles, and then some header. You don't really need that, I guess, in this case, because there's a title. Um, all right, and then paragraph text describing what the article's about. You might have an image with it, but it keeps this page kind of easy to navigate. If you go back through some older years and see. Well, I guess we didn't really use those. So there's a ton of stuff on these pages, right? Maybe that's desirable, maybe it's not. Um, but if you wanted to create a section with kind of just some summaries and if you have like a big gallery or lots of images or lots of text, you don't want to clutter the one page, use these links. Um, 